Hey there, cat lovers. Can you imagine if our furry friends could talk? Oh boy, wouldn't that be something? You know how cats always look like they're judging us? Well, now they'd be able to tell us exactly what they're thinking. Human, your outfit is atrocious. I wouldn't be caught dead in that litter box. Or maybe, excuse me, but that's my chair you're sitting in. I only let you think it's yours. You're trying to sleep in on a Saturday morning and suddenly there's a little paw tapping your face. Hey, hey you. Yeah, you at the bedhead. It's 6 a.m. Breakfast time. I think we're all glad cats can't actually talk sometimes. Now let's talk about cat personalities. Cats are like tiny furry people with their own quirks and attitudes. First up, we've got the drama queen. Everything is a catastrophe. Oh, the horror. My food bowl is only half full. I shall surely perish before nightfall. Then there's the philosopher cat, always pondering the big questions in life. If I fits, I sits. But why do I fits? What is the nature of sitting? Don't forget about the adrenaline junkie cat, always zooming around the house at 3 a.m. like it's training for the Cat Olympics. Woohoo! Look at me go! I'm the fastest thing on four paws. And of course, we can't forget the lovable grump. Looks like it woke up on the wrong side of the cat bed every single day. Want some treats? No, how about a nice belly rub? Definitely no. Do you love me? Maybe, but don't tell anyone. Oh boy, now let's get into the good stuff. Catnip. If cats could talk while they're high on the nip, it'd be like a feline woodstock in your living room. Yeah, human, I'm just gonna take a little sniff of this here green stuff. No big deal. But then, bam! Suddenly your cat thinks it's Jim Morrison. Wow, man. Have you ever really looked at your paws? I mean, really looked at them? They're like tiny bean factories attached to my legs. And don't even get me started on what they'd say about those little crinkly balls they love to play with. Dude, what if the red dot isn't chasing us? What if we're chasing it? What if we are the red dot? And then they'd probably try to have a deep conversation with the houseplant. Hey, you. Yeah, you with the leaves. Do you ever feel rooted in place? Whoa, did you see that mouse riding a unicorn? It was wearing a top hat and everything. Then they'd spend the next hour trying to catch their own tail while yelling, come back here, you fluffy imposter. Now let's take our chatty cats outside. Can you imagine what they'd say about the great outdoors? Human, human, the magic wall is stuck again. I demand you open it this instant. Once they're actually outside, it'd be like a running commentary of everything they see. Oh, look, a bird. Come here, little feathered snack. What do you mean you can fly? That's cheating. And don't even get me started on what they'd say about squirrels. Hey, Bushytail. Yeah, you up there. Come down and fight me like a mammal. But you know, cats, they're not all about the hunt. They love to lounge in the sun too. Ah, uh, yes, this is the spot. I shall lay here and photosynthesize like the majestic houseplant I am. Do not disturb me for the next five hours, unless you have tuna. Always disturb me for tuna. And let's not forget about the neighborhood cats. There'd be all sorts of cat gossip going on. Did you see Mr. Whiskers from next door? I heard he's been seeing the Siamese down the street. Scandalous. Section 5, Litter Box Lingo Bathroom Break Banter. We're about to dive into the not-so-glamorous world of litter box talk. Ahem, human. Do you mind? This is a private moment between me and my litter box. No paparazzi, please. And you know how cats always seem to use the litter box right after you've cleaned it? Well, now you'd get to hear their thoughts on that, too. Ah, fresh litter. It's like a brand new sandbox just for me. I simply must christen it immediately. Because apparently a clean litter box is irresistible to a cat. Then there's the whole burying business. I can just imagine a cat narrating the process. Now watch closely, human. This is an art form passed down through generations. First we dig, then we do our business. And finally, we bury it like we're hiding treasure. It's very important. The fate of the world depends on how well I cover this up. But let's not forget the complaints. Oh, there would be complaints. Excuse me, but what is this off-brand litter? Do you expect me to use this? I have standards, you know. I demand the premium stuff with extra odor control. And could you make it lavender scented? I'm not using this box again until my demands are met. I'll be pooping in your shoes if you need me. And of course, they'd have to comment on our reactions too. Look at their face, priceless. You'd think they'd never seen a hairball before. Oh, they're getting the cleaning supplies. Might as well make myself scarce. Section six, dinner time dialogue, food related feline phrases. Now let's talk about every cat's favorite time of day, dinner time. First, there'd be the wake-up call. At precisely 5.59 a.m., you'd hear, human, human, 
The food bowl is empty. We're all going to starve. Then comes the dance of anticipation as you prepare their food. Oh yes, that's it. Open the can slowly. Let me hear that beautiful sound. Ah, music to my ears. What's that? Salmon flavor today? You spoil me, human. But don't let it go to your head. I'm still the boss around here. Of course, some cats are pickier than others. You might hear something like, what is this? Yesterday's flavor was much better. I demand a different option. Bring me your finest tuna servant and make it snappy. Don't you know I have a busy day of napping ahead of me? And let's not forget the post-meal commentary. Ah, that hit the spot. I shall now proceed to groom myself for the next hour, occasionally pausing to give you a look that says, yes, I'm still fabulous. Oh, and don't even think about touching my belly. That's a privilege reserved for, well, no one actually. It's a trap. Section 7, Nap Time Narratives, Sleepy Cat Conversations. All right, folks, now we're getting to the real meat and potatoes of a cat's day. Nap time. Attention, everyone. I am about to embark on my 47th nap of the day. Please hold all your applause until I wake up in approximately three hours. Of course, finding the perfect nap spot is crucial. You might hear your cat wandering around muttering, let's see, the sunny patch on the floor? No, too obvious. The clean laundry basket? Tempting, but I did that yesterday. Aha, uh -huh. the keyboard while the human is trying to work. Perfect, they'll never suspect a thing. And don't even think about disturbing a cat mid-nap. The complaints would be endless. Excuse me, do you mind? I was in the middle of a very important dream about chasing mice made of cheese. Now I have to start all over again. This is a serious setback to my daily napping quota. I hope you're happy, but the best part would be the sleep talking. Imagine your cat mumbling in its sleep. No, Mr. Whiskers, I don't want to go to school today. I didn't do my homework because the dog ate it. What do you mean we don't have a dog? Fine, I ate it. Are you happy now? Section 8. The new kitten on the block, fresh feline chatter. Oh boy, here comes trouble. A new kitten in the house. First, you'd have the resident cat's reaction. What is that? Is this some kind of joke? Very funny, human. Now take it back where you found it. What do you mean it's staying? But I'm the baby. Then the kitten would start exploring, narrating its every move. Ooh, what's this? A scratching post? Boring, I'd rather climb the curtains. Wee! Look at me go! I'm king of the... Ow! Note to self, gravity is not my friend. Of course, the older cat would have plenty to say about the kitten's antics. Listen here, you little furball. I've been here for years. I've got seniority. You can't just come in here and... Hey, that's my favorite toy. Give it back. No, don't run. I'm too old for this chase nonsense. Come back here, you tiny terror. But eventually, even the grumpiest cat would warm up to the new addition. You might overhear a whispered conversation. Okay, kid, listen up. I'm only going to say this once. Here's how you really get the humans wrapped around your paw. Step one, look cute. Step two, act aloof. Step three, profit. Got it? Now let's go knock some stuff off the shelves. For practice, of course. And of course, they'd have to comment on our reactions too. Look at their face. Priceless. Section 9. Furballs and Hairballs Gross Out Cat Commentary All right, folks, brace yourselves. We're about to enter the not-so-glamorous world of furballs and hairballs. If cats could talk during these, uh, special moments, it'd probably go something like this. Warning. Warning. Hairball incoming. Clear the area. This is not a drill, people. Evacuation procedures commence in 3, 2, 1, and then, of course, there's the aftermath. You'd probably hear something like, Ta-da! Behold my latest creation. I made this just for you, human. No need to thank me. What do you mean you're not impressed? This is a masterpiece. I've been working on this all week. Ingrate. But let's not forget the build-up to these delightful moments. Your cat might start pacing around, muttering to itself, Oh no, not again. I can feel it coming. Why did I have to be so thorough with my grooming? I'm too fluffy for my own good. Maybe if I just ignore it, it'll go away. Nope, here it comes, brace for impact. And of course, they'd have to comment on our reactions too. Look at their face, priceless. You'd think they'd never seen a hairball before. Oh, they're getting the cleaning supplies. Might as well make myself scarce. Section 10, human cat conversations lost in translation. I'm sure you've heard the news. Welcome to The Cat Chronicles. If you love cats, make sure to like and subscribe for more feline fun. Now let's imagine what it would be like if cats could actually respond to us when we talk to them. First off, they'd probably be really confused by our baby talk. Why are you talking like that? Did you hit your head? Do you need medical attention? I'm concerned for you, human. 
and when we ask them questions, their responses might not be what we expect. Who's a good kitty? Who's a good kitty? Well, I assume you're referring to me, but I must say, your questioning of my moral character is quite perplexing. I am a cat. I am neither good nor bad. I simply am. Then there's the classic, what's that in your mouth? Interrogation. The cat's response, nothing. Nothing at all. Don't mind me, just casually standing here with my cheeks puffed out, completely normal, no need to investigate further. Oh, is that the doorbell? You should probably go check that.